The 2011 Atlantic hurricane season is here and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, warns us to brace for what could be a busy six month period. NOAA predicts an above average season with as many as 18 named storms. Three to six of those storms could become majors with winds topping 111 miles an hour. This comes on the heels of a very active year last season, the third busiest on record. So what climate factors figure into this prediction of an active year? First of all, we continue to be in a natural recurring cycle, something called a tropical multi-decadal oscillation that produces ocean and atmospheric conditions conducive for hurricane development. Secondly, warm Atlantic Ocean water. Sea surface temperatures are running two degrees Fahrenheit warmer than average in some areas right now. And that's where we really see this climate change connection. Current research suggests we could see more intense hurricanes in the Atlantic as a result over coming years. And finally, something called ENSO, the El Nino Southern Oscillation. The three phases of ENSO are El Nino, La Nina, and ENSO Neutral. La Nina events tend to enhance hurricane activity. The current La Nina is weakening and giving way to what's likely to be an ENSO neutral hurricane season. And it's always a bit tricky to forecast when you've got ENSO neutral conditions. News of this likely busy hurricane season may not be welcomed by those weary of a year already socked with a number of weather extremes, snowstorms, tornadoes, wildfire activity way above average, disastrous flooding, drought. You've got to ask the question, what gives? While we do expect to see more of these types of extremes as the planet warms up, it's also important to point out that La Nina may also help explain some of the extremes that we've witnessed. That said, the relationship between tornadoes and climate change is still a very uncertain one, and it's an area of active, ongoing research. Finally, there's one more extreme that we can expect to see a lot of, and that is extreme heat. NOAA's Climate Prediction Center is calling for above average temperatures across the southern tier of the country. So for some of us, it may just be a very long, hot summer. I'm Dr. Heidi Cullen. Check back soon for another climate update.